welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm excited about. Basically, I keep going to Hobby Lobby and I keep seeing this really, really pretty mirror, but the mirror is $400. They'll have the furniture and mirrors on sale for like half off sometimes, but it's still $200. And I'm not about to spend $200 to $400 for a mirror. So I keep seeing this mirror and then finally I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try making something similar for cheap. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to create two glam mirrors, one using Dollar Tree products and then the other one using Walmart items. I decided to use Walmart items because these are items you can find in every single Walmart. And sometimes it doesn't always make sense to buy all your crafting supplies at Dollar Tree. Sometimes you can get it for a less expensive price somewhere else or something that's already made up. And you'll see in this tutorial exactly what I'm talking about. I'm so happy with how everything turned out, especially my bigger mirror. It's right over there. I have to figure out where I'm going to hang it, but it is so pretty, especially when the lights hit it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to a thousand likes. I'm going to aim a little higher with this video because I love how this turned out. Also, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not you'll be notified every single time that I upload join the bargain family we like to save our money here with that being said let's begin the video okay let's start off with the Dollar Tree mirror you're gonna get one of these framed mirrors from Dollar Tree they come in different sizes I got the more standard size so what I do is I take my mirror out of the frame now for the base of the whole backboard I'm gonna be using one of these foam boards from Dollar Tree I place my mirror on top of the foam board and I use that as a guide of how big I want this entire thing to be so I decided that I wanted two rows of my thicker diamond wrap to be on each side of the mirror so to do that I go ahead and measure out two inches on the left the right side the top and the bottom so all around there's two inches of foam board showing beside the mirror and then I go ahead and I cut it and I just use a razor to do that. Dollar Tree does carry box cutters and utility knives that you can use as well. Once I got that all cut out I can go ahead and attach my mirror to the foam board. To do that I'm just using some hot glue. You can use whatever glue you like just make sure you apply enough of it to the foam board and then place the mirror on top of it. To bling up the back I'm going to be using some silver diamond wrap I got at Dollar Tree. They carry them in different colors and in different sizes. They have one that is three rows and they have one that is five rows. I go ahead and trim up the diamond wrap to fit the back of the board and then I attach the diamond wrap to the board using some double sided tape that I got from Dollar Tree. You can use double sided tape if you like or you can use glue. It's kind of just something that's up to you. I wanted to define the edges of this blinged out mirror so to do that I just added another layer of the diamond wrap but I cut it down so that it's just three rows and then I just add that around the edges like I said and it just really defines it in my opinion. So that is all I did for this Dollar Tree mirror. It only cost me $3 to make and it was super easy. Now moving on to the more full sized mirror. Now you can use Dollar Tree mirrors to create a full size mirror. The only thing is you're going to have lines going through it and you're going to have to at least buy four, but five if you want to get the true length of what you normally see. Now at that point, in my opinion, you might as well go to Walmart, Kmart, Target and get their mirrors that are about five to $6. That way you don't have lines going through the mirror and it's already made up for you. Also, if you want to use the Dollar Tree mirrors to create a full size mirror, you're going to need a backing for it as well. So in my opinion, it's just easier to get a full size mirror somewhere else for an inexpensive price. For this mirror, I really wanted to copy what I keep seeing at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to be using these adhesive gemstone stickers that I got from Walmart. You can use the diamond wrap if you want to but I decided to use these gemstones because they look more like what I keep seeing at Hobby Lobby and also this is something that I know most of you guys can get whereas Dollar Tree it's like hit or miss all the time with what you can find at certain ones. Now all I'm doing is sticking the stickers to the mirror. Now I will say this the stickers that I attached to the frame and to the mirror itself, I didn't use glue or anything. I just stuck them on and then the next day they started to come off. So I suggest gluing these on because you know what? The, the adhesive that's on this stuff, honestly, is not strong enough for this. So you're going to want to end up gluing this all these on. These gemstones are in rows. So when I glued them back onto the mirror, I just applied glue to the top and bottom gemstone of each row. I didn't apply glue to every single gemstone just as long as the top and bottom ones were attached with the glue they didn't fall off after i did that i didn't have a problem with them falling off anymore 
I decided after putting two rows of gemstone stickers that I wanted a third row. So I went ahead and I glued on half of the gemstone to the edges of the frame and then half of it was just kind of floating off. As long as half is glued to the frame, it's gonna be okay. I didn't add a third row to the top or bottom of the mirror just because I knew this mirror was gonna be on the ground and if I did that, I would have had a hard time keeping the gemstones on. I wanna say if you use hot glue, you have to handle the mirror with care. Hot glue isn't a very heavy duty glue, so the gemstones might fall off. If you use like E6000, the gemstones will stay in place. I'm just saying if you use hot glue gun like I did, you just want to handle the mirror with care when you're holding it by the sides. So that is it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.